Incoming email. What you want to know? Craig's Corner. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Craig's Corner. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about FX150. I had a couple of questions come in saying, could I listen to the effects, the reverb and the tone and stuff, just out of the speaker and not have that get sent to the front of house? And originally I had said no, that that's not possible. And then I kind of realized that it is possible. Kind of had a few little discussions around the office about it. And you just have to do things a little bit differently than might be described in the manual. So in the manual, it would tell you to do uh, to the full mix channel one button there, just down here. And you would put it into, uh, this is with a monitor mix, you'd put it into channel one mode. And so what that's going to do is it's going to uh, kind of take whatever's on your mic on channel one, and it's going to send the affected sound out the output to the front of house. But when you want to do it so that the front of house gets a dry signal, you actually want to leave it in full mix mode. Okay, so you, it's in full mix mode, but you don't want to connect the output to front of house. Here's the trick. Connect to channel two instead with your main microphone. Now you're going to turn on the reverb and the tone and that kind of stuff on channel two. But connect the through to the front of house. Now that's just going straight in, right into two here, and it's going straight through back out to the front of house. If you do that, that obviously allows you to send the dry signal to front of house and monitor the effects within the unit, which is really cool. You can still use uh, channel one as an input for monitor mix too, because you're not using the output, right? That would create a feedback loop from channel one to the output in full mix mode. But because you're not actually connecting to the output here, you can still receive a monitor mix on channel one. Just make sure you turn off the reverb and you still have control over EQ if you want. Uh, you probably want to turn tone off and do EQ manually because on a, a more full signal, um, we're looking more for a voice with tone, but uh, you know you can still turn up the highs and lows and mids and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that might give you a little bit of a different approach. A couple of the guys in the office run that approach in, in a sort of a worship situation um, where they want to have the, the, the singer themselves have those effects, but have that dry go to front house. So I stand corrected. I thought it was impossible, but it is possible. There you go. A little tip for you for today. Take care.